I don't like fair weather fans. I think y'all fucking trash. I'm gonna go over here because he, he, LeBron over there now. I'm gonna stick with your team. Stay with your team. What's up, people? It's comedian Ryan Ray, and I'm getting stuff off my chest. Uh, I gotta get it off, man. This stress is holding me down. So my psychiatrist is like, yo, put the camera in front and go for it. And I'm like, all right, whatever's on your mind, just go. So I decided to put this up so you guys can experience the, um, the bullshit I go through. It might not be major to all, but it's major to me. I was on the phone with a good uh, friend of mine, and uh, the game had went off, and I was a little angry. The Bulls fan, I'm a Bulls fan, so uh, the game goes off. And I'm pissed for like the first three minutes of our conversation. She's like, why you mad? I'm like, the Bulls lost. They not gonna make the playoff. And she was like, why you still a Bulls fan? I ain't been shit. Says Michael Jordan, like, look here. Don't ever question my loyalty to my team. Chicago Bulls are my favorite team. I don't, I don't think y'all get all the years of losing. We are used to it. Cause when he start winning, it becomes phenomenal. It's a feeling like it's up there with the sex, dog. It's up there with the sex. And it's up there with comedy for me. That guy with comedy, sex, boots. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel. It's my third pleasure in life to see my team win because I'm with them. The loyalty that I possess, all the bullshit we had to go through living in Chicago, our teams wasn't shit for years. We going through season after season, sports team after sports team. The cup, the the White Sox. I'm gonna use the Cubs for last. The White Sox. It took forever for them to win, but in 2005 they won. And if you're a fan of the White Sox, you're like, yeah, they won. Chicago Bears, 1985, Shuffling and Crew. We waited forever, waited 20 years since the Super Bowl ain't got it, but we still wait 30 more years. But every season we are in front of that damn TV. We done had 40 damn quarterbacks since 1985. It's a goddamn shame, but you know what? We ain't losing the loyalty. The Bulls. Oh, the Bulls. The Bulls wasn't supposed to be shit. That was the extra team Jerry Reinsdorf got when he bought the White Sox. That was the bonus, man. Check this damn basketball team, too. They get a guy, Michael Jordan, they start winning, become the culture. And they made us feel good for six seasons. Damn. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, Dennis Robin, Horace Grant. Dickie Simpkins. Come on, man. The Cubs. The Cubs waited 85 years. 85. 80. You can be a baby. And you can be you can be a baby in the hospital where the Cubs won last time. And then by the, at the end of by the time they won the, the damn World Series, you was in the old folks' home. That's how long people waited for the Cubs to win. But when they won, oh, they acted an ass. Because Chicago gets down. So you have to be a loyal fan living here. I don't like fair weather fans. That's why I can't be a Laker fan. Because all they do is like, we got to get somebody. Or we ain't got. Give us Kareem. Remember back in this day, remember in the 70s. And Kareem, he come over here and play with us. And how did they get the first? How did they get Magic Johnson? I still want to know how they pulled that shit. You got Magic Johnson. Two years later, you get James Worthy, another number one pick. Maybe they just some smart ass people, but you know what? They wanted to win. Chicago ain't want to win. They just want your goddamn money. We just lucked up on some good ass players. But as long as they doing it, I'm with them regardless. It's like having a crackhead as your favorite uncle. You know he fucked up, but you love him. He give you money, he teach you how to steal. He give you weed and shit. He show you your first little um, dirty magazine. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the cool uncle. Chicago has the cool crackhead uncles. I don't like fair weather fans. I think y'all fucking trash. I'm gonna go over here because he, he, LeBron over there now. I'm gonna stick with your team. Stay with your team. Fair weather fans piss me the fuck off. Fuck. I can't stand y'all. And I'm a super Bulls fan. I'm Bulls fan for life. And people are like, why don't you wear all the gear? No, no, no. That's, that's, that's too cliche. I don't have to show you on the outside I'm a fan. I show you right here I'm a fan. You ask me about the facts, I'll tell you about the facts. You be like, what was Michael Jordan's number in 1987? I bet you don't know that shit. 3,061 points. Led the league in steals. Had 100 fucking blocks as a, a damn shooting guard. Still didn't get the MVP. They gave it to Magic. Why? He playing with the Lakers. Because they love the Lakers. Love the heart, man. You gotta be the heart. 
You can't do nothing but follow that. They were losing their ass off, but yet you had hope. And when you're a Chicago fan, we have hope and loyalty, unlike these other damn cities. Got it off my chest. Got me sweating. What the fuck? These lights are hot as fuck. Stick with the team.